Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode two of NXG Impact. My name is Jim Mann, and I am here with my good friend, Steve Williamson. And we're here for another jam-packed episode of NXG Impact. Y'all like the first episode. So we have come back to you here with another jam-packed episode of NXG Wrestling. Now let's recap what happened in the last episode. We had the beginning and the start of the NXG World Title Tournament. We also had the beginning of the NXG Tag Title Tournament. We had Eric Kidd defeat Francesco in the first round. And we also had Mandon defeat McCoy Coleman in the main event of Episode 1. Also, we had the Croatian Crusade defeat the Future, and they will move on to the breakdown event to face off for the tag team titles. Now, speaking of the breakdown event, we have a confirmed date. Now, I shouldn't really say confirmed because the date may subject to change, but as of right now, the NXG breakdown event will come to you live on June 10th of 2022, we're going to be having the first ever NXG event breakdown on June 10th. And right now, the Croatian Crusade is the only team to have made it to the breakdown event. We got to get these tournament matches still rolling. But Steve, talk to us about what's going to be going on in this show tonight and your thoughts about last week. Well, Jim, last week's episode was a great episode. I mean, stellar talent, amazing athletes out there. I mean, Mandon's performance was jaw-dropping. Eric Kidd had a lot to contest with against Francesco, and the Croatian Crusade earned their spot on the NXG breakdown event for the tag team titles. But like you said... We've got a lot of talent debuting tonight on this episode of NXG. And let's take a look at what we've got in store for tonight's episode. We're going to be continuing the NXG Heavyweight Title Tournament. We're going to be finishing the first round of the tournament in this episode. Our first match to kick off the show, we're going to be seeing Jace Sparks take on John Knight and these two gentlemen are talented in the world of wrestling but we're going to see which one of them goes out on top and the winner of this match will take on Eric Kidd in the third in the next episode we'll see them take on Eric Kidd our next matchup on the show we're going to be seeing the Chinese lion the Chinese dragon Zhang Shen, as he will go up against the leader of the Nigerian nation, Assad. And the winner of this match will face Mandan in the next episode. It's going to be a tall task for Mandan to get through. He'll have to get through one of these two behemoth of men. But in the main event, we talked about this match at the end of the last episode. Four women will be squaring off. For the to see who will become the first ever NXG Women's Champion, we're going to be seeing the powerful Sissy as she will be going up against Mary Rich, Peyton Kay, and she'll be going up against Rose Mignard from France. We got some great, a great group of talented women for this match. It's going to be amazing to see, as you see on the screen right now, what the women's title looks like. And we're going to see who wins that coveted title. And we're also going to be making history. It'll be the first championship ever crowned in NXG history. Well, Steve, it sounds like it's going to be a great night tonight. Everybody buckle up. Get ready. Some action is coming your way right now as Jay Sparks takes on John Knight. And the winner will face Eric Kidd at in the next episode actually. So here we go. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. 
and it is a match in the NXT World Title Tournament, making his way to the ring from Lafayette, Indiana, weighing 183 pounds, Jace Sparks. And here comes Jay Sparks on his way to the ring, making his NXG debut. Just like Eric Kidd, this guy has a lot to prove, and he's got a future in the world of professional wrestling. He just has to get through the roadblock of Mr. John Knight. from Little Rock, Arkansas, weighing 274 pounds, John Knight. John Knight, the big 274 pounder, making his way down the aisle. The big man looks to be, win his first ever world championship in a wrestling promotion. Yes, I said it. He has never won a world title in any professional wrestling organization he's ever been in. But this could be the first. He could win it in NXG. But like the like I already said, Jay Sparks has to get through John Knight first. And John Knight has to get through Jay Sparks. The winner of this match will go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Eric Kidd in the next episode of NXG Impact. You know, I like the presence of John Knight in this match, and I like the presence of him as a whole. We're already going for a cover. One, two, oh, and a kick out by Jace Sparks. That was a pretty quick pin by John Knight, but John Knight has wrestled all across the globe, yet he's never gotten the opportunity to win a world championship. He's wrestled in Japan, Puerto Rico, you name it, he's probably wrestled there. It's just insane what this guy can do. Well, Jace Sparks... Steve is one of those guys who is an all-time high flyer. He's even got that tattoo of that lion on him. Oh my goodness, what a slam by John Knight as he is already proving himself. John Knight is proving to be a vicious competitor. He plans to reclaim, become the first ever NXG world title. Oh, that wasn't even a one count. I meant the world championship. I was so excited I called it a title. Uh, but John Knight... It's getting excited here. He knows that he is in the prime of his career. He knows that he is dead set on going after the world championship. And John Knight looks like he's going to the top, Steve. Look at him. Look at him, Jimmy. He's going up. Oh, the double stomp to, jo to Jason Sparks. I don't even know why he's not going for a cover here. He just split Sparks in half with that coup de gras like move just like Finn Balor maybe he takes a lot of his uh, fighting style from Finn Balor who knows but John Knight oh my goodness a stunner by John Knight this could be it is he gonna go for it he might be looking for a pinfall here on Jay Sparks Jay Sparks hasn't done a lot in this match so far oh and John oh look at him he's flexing John Knight knows the advantage that he has in this match, he's going for the cover. One, two, oh, and a kick out. Jay Sparks still in it. I thought that John Knight was going to clear this house. He's in a clean house with Jay Sparks in. Oh, he missed. Look at that, man. He just completely missed the forearm. That was a miscalculation by the veteran. He needs to go back and work on that. He should have watched some stuff about Jay Sparks. Because Jay Sparks is experienced in his own right, to say the least. A pinfall by Jace. One. I want a kick out by the big man. Yeah, I don't think just barely any moves, Steve, is going to do the job for Mr. Jay Sparks. Jay Sparks is going to do a lot more. He's going to the top rope. What is Jay Sparks going to do? He is up really high, folks. What's he going to do? Oh, it's a hurricane runner from the top rope. Jay Sparks still kicking him down. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh man, a springboard moonsault, but John Knight is not having it. He is now putting the whoop on Jay Sparks. He did not like the way that that turned out. Uh-oh. Oh, man, he's done. That's got to be it. That has got to be it. John Knight has to... That has got to be the win right there. That has got to be the finisher for, for Mr. John Knight. The pin. One, two... And John Knight moves on to face Eric Kidd in the next episode of NXG Impact. Here is your winner, John Knight. What an outstanding performance by John Knight. He cleaned house with Jay Sparks. Jay Sparks got a little bit of an offensive uh, strategy going into the match, but John Knight was the one that was able to manhandle Jay Sparks in that entire match. What a crazy match. I would have to say it was the, probably the highlight of this show so far is just John Knight completely dominating Mr. Jace Sparks, but now he's got to go up against Eric Kidd in the next episode of NXG Impact. Well, you know, Jim, it was one of those matches where you've got a small guy versus a big guy, and ultimately the big guy ultimately won. So, you know, John Knight is now right dead in the center to going straight for the NXG title. He's just got to get through Eric Kidd, and once he does, he will make it to the main event of the first ever event in NXG history, Breakdown. You're exactly right, Steve. But all that greatness is going to have to wait because this next fight is going to be the last match in the first round of the NXG World Title Tournament. We're going to be seeing the Dragon, Zhang Shen, as he goes one-on-one. -on -one against the leader of the Nigerian nation, Assad. Two big behemoths collide, and the winner of this match will have to face the world-renowned Mandan. And Mandan's going to have a big play on his hands in the next episode. But without any further ado, let's see these men collide. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a match in the NXG World Title Tournament. Making his way to the ring from Hong Kong, China, weighing in at 313 pounds, the Dragon Zhang Shen. An opponent from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing 288 pounds. He is the leader of the Nigerian nation, Asa. Asa has a big history behind this man, being the leader of the Nigerian nation, whatever that is supposed to mean. He is that guy. And that's all that matters. He's now got to go face to face with the Chinese dragon in Zhang Shen, a man who has popularized himself in the country of China. While Assad has become the leader of the Nigerian nation and is about to prove himself against the big man. Both big men ready to go. And we are off and running here. Assad. Looking to pick him up already. Wow. Shinbreaker by Assad to start this match. And Assad. Oh, wow. 
Oh my goodness, I have never seen a 288 pound man do that. One, two, and a kick out by Zong Shen. Goodness, Assad with a springboard moonsault. A 288 pound man coming off the ropes like that is insane. Oh my goodness, what a power bomb by Zong Shen. These guys can definitely lift more weight than the other guy weighs but goodness you know jim this is a wild match already you saw this moonsault by assad which is we're already seeing displays of athleticism the cover here by shen one and a kick out by assad but you got the athletic like the, the presentation here by both men is astounding You've got the moonsault by Assad, Zong Shen just picking up Assad like it's nothing and slamming him to the ground. It's just a wonderful sight to see. Another Shen Breaker. Shen giving the Shen Breaker back to Assad. And this match rolls on, Steve. I'm already liking it. NXG, like we said, we're forging a new generation of talent, and this is definitely what everyone has been asking for in a wrestling promotion and Assad gonna go for the pin again as he throws him to the ground one and a kick out by Shen Shen is not giving up that easily in this fight oh my goodness Assad with the side slam Assad gonna go up to the middle rope what's he gonna do he's get he's trying to get him back up who is gonna face Megan Oh my goodness, that was crazy. The body splash to Shen. Oh my, look at the raw power of Assad. That has got to be it. Oh, he's going to go for a kick. Oh, Steve, look at that. He just kicked the man upside the face. That has to be it for Zong Shen. There is no way this man is conscious. The pinfall, one, two, Oh, and a kick out by Zong Shen. Man, a lot of these talents are kicking out at the last second. And I am definitely not expecting that. But Assad is going down. Assad is going down. And oh, no. Oh, he missed. Oh, gosh, Steve. Did you see that? That was insane. He completely missed Shen. That was awful right there. But he's got to come back. He's got to get back from this or Shen's going to take over. Oh, the forearm by Shen. This is a wild match, ladies and gentlemen. Folks watching on YouTube, at YouTube land. Here we go with a pin. One. And a kick out by Assad. Assad is not going to give up that easily. And this match continues. Shen going to go for another forearm. Oh, he does. And gets Assad on the ground. Is he going to go for a step? Oh, he's going for the leg breaker. He's trying to work on the legs of Assad in this match. This is the most athletic match between two big men I've ever seen in my entire life. You know, if you watch sumo wrestling, it's about the equivalent. Oh, goodness! Ripcord! Forearm to the face to Assad. Uh, I understand, Steve, that sumo wrestling is as, is athletic as well, but all they do is push each other. Well, you know, it's more than just that. Uh, it's more than just that, Jim. Okay, these guys are picking up raw strength into the corner. Look at that. Look, see, it's completely different. But look, look, look at this, Steve. He's going for it. Oh, he's, oh, what is this? What is this? This is a unique submission by Zhang Shen. Will Assad tap out to this maneuver? Oh, he will not. Oh, he's going to pick him up! Oh, Assad slams him down. Assad displaying his strength. Assad looking to end him. Oh, and he just kicked him in the face. These guys are going back and forth in this match. This is ridiculous. I did not expect this amazing talent in this fight. But we're getting it here. What is crazy is one of these guys are going to have to face the world-renowned Mandon. And that's going to be a tough test for Mandon to go to have one of these men cross his path. But we'll just have to see if they can do it. My goodness, the face raking. And Zong Shen going to run. Oh! He just busted the saw open. 
He just busted a saw open, but a saw is coming back. This is absolutely nuts, Jim. I am loving this match. One of my favorite matches. What in the world is going on? These two men are flying across the ring like they're 100 pounds. This is absolutely insane. And it looks like Zhang Shen is really trying to work on the leg of Assad still. He's trying to get the big man to completely stay permanently down. But these guys are going back and forth and back and forth. What is Zhang Shen? Oh goodness, he drives him into the corner. What else is this man going to do? And he looks like he is trying to kill this man. Oh my goodness, what a slam by Zhang Shen. The alley-oop slam. And a, oh, a suplex. No, well, I think that, I don't even know. I, at this point, this match is so entertaining that I don't even know what the moves are anymore. You, you are exactly right, Steve. Assad gonna kick him in the head. That's gotta be it. The Nigerian kick. He's going for the pin. One, two, and Assad moves on to face Mandon in the next episode of NXG Impact. Will he move on to break down for the world title? We'll know. We'll find out later. Here is your winner, Assad. I would have to say, Steve, that this match was the match. I mean, we know we said the last match was an outstanding match. This match has to top that first match and any of the matches we've already seen here in NXG. That was a crazy match, but in the end, the leader of the Nigerian nation, Assad, will go on to face the world-renowned wrestler in Mandan, and that's, like we've said already, it's going to be a big obstacle for this, for Mandan to go through, as he's got that one step closer to getting the NXG title, and he's just got to beat a man who is a hundred more pounds bigger than he is. And that's going to say a lot, Steve, about what it's just going to say a lot about what kind of character, what kind of agility, athleticism he's going to have to bring to the table in the next episode of NXG Impact. That match was crazy, crazy, Jim. I will have to agree. The Zong, we are not giving Zong Shen enough credit. That guy could move in the ring. He knew what to target. He targeted the legs of Assad, but it just wasn't enough. And Assad got the win. Assad is now going. He's one step closer to becoming the first ever NXG champion. But, you know, we're about to get into an actual first title match in the history of NXG. We're going to be seeing the Fatal 4-Way women's match. We're going to be crowning the first ever champion in NXG, and it's going to be the women's champion. We've got our four women ready to go. They're getting ready backstage, and they're about to make their way to the ring to compete for the NXG women's title. Yes, Steve, we are about to get into that match. Four of the best women that we could find here at NXG are about to square off in a fatal four-way match, and the winner will walk out as the NXG women's champion. So let's see who that will be. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the NXG Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Venice, California, Peyton K. And here comes the dazzling Peyton K. As you can tell by her attire here, she is ready to go. She is looking to literally shine here in the NXG women's division and she looks to get and take away the NXG women's title for herself. Look at the talent that she is putting on display right now. She stands on the ropes, the balance of Peyton K. And we'll have to see if she can capture the women's championship in just a few moments. And 
Commander opponents. From Hubbard, Oregon, Mary Rich. Here comes Mary Rich from Oregon, another competitor entering in to the women's division here at NXG and also into this match against Peyton K. Both women have had some experience in the wrestling ring and they hope to become the women's champion in just a few moments. But we've got two more women making their entrances to the ring. And her opponent from Aurora, Illinois, the Annihilator, Sissy. Now the name might fool you. I know, Steve, when you looked at it, you thought that this person was going to be, this woman was going to be a completely different person. But no, she means business. Sissy is entering the ring right now. You know, I looked at it, uh, Jim, and she has an extensive background in MMA fighting. She looks to take the title all the way with her to the end of her career. For the misfits And her opponent, from Paris, France, she is ravishing, Rose Mignard. I'd have to say the most experienced out of the four women, Rose Mignard made a name for herself in Paris, France. One of the key favorites, my pick to win this match right here, Rose Mignard, not a lot of people like her. Not a lot of people love her either, so it's either way, she, nobody likes her. Um, but she is walking into this match as my favorite, to say the least. I don't know about you, I feel like, uh, Steve, I feel like you're already picking uh, Sissy to win this entire thing. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to pick her, you know, with the... You know, the underdogs, man, you got the guys who are from the MMA, and usually when they translate over to wrestling, it is a big deal. But there is the belt, Jim. Look how beautiful it looks. The NXG Women's Championship. Who is going to win the NXG World title? One of these ladies are going to walk away with the title. We got Peyton K, Mary Rich, Sissy, and Rose Mignard. One of these women are about to walk away a champion. And as this match starts, we've got Sissy going after Peyton K and Minyard going after Rich. This is the first ever women's match in NXG history, and we're watching it right now. And this is going to be a very interesting fight, to say the least. Mary Rich with a clothesline to Minyard. And oh, a knee to the face. Sissy with the knee to the face to Peyton K. And another one to Peyton K. She looks to go for the pin here. One, two, and a kick out by Peyton K. She was trying to end this match early so she could walk away the NXG Women's Championship champion. Now, like we said, breakdown as of right now is going to be June 10th, 2022. And if that date does change, we here at NXG Wrestling will let you know as the weeks progress and one of these women could be going to break down who knows there's no telling who is going to make it to break down who is not at this point but now we got Kay working on sissy now looks like she is doing what Francesco did in the last episode and rip her hand off all oh, the knees to the back of sissy and Minyard now going after Kay this is a very interesting match as Sissy rolls outside the ring and Peyton K, what in the world was that? She just did like a Jedi move there. It looked like she did something from Star Wars, Jim. It was kind of crazy. Oh my goodness, what a suplex by Rose Mignard. Rose Mignard taking down everybody in this match. We're down to Mary Rich and Mignard in the middle of the ring. Well, Peyton K just now got back up at all these women are very perseverant and oh my goodness rich just the rose roseman or not roseman yard peyton k across the ring 
Sissy's working on Roseman Yard. She's giving her the punches and the kicks like it's nobody's business. And all these women are going after the NXG Women's Championship. You're exactly right, Steve. It is for that one single belt. K going for the pin, and it's not even a one count. Roseman Yard gets thrown outside the ring by Sissy, and Sissy is now going to put the fight to the French woman. And Kay and Rich are now fighting in the ring here. The, ble the bleach blonde woman is now getting slammed by Peyton Kay. And what is Peyton Kay going to do now? She's going to the top rope. Peyton Kay is trying to tell her now to get up, even though she just put her on the ground. Peyton Kay completely misses the kick. That was a miscalculation by Peyton Kay. She completely missed the super kick. The Minyard now is going after Sissy outside the ring. Yeah, you can't forget about Sissy and Minyard. They are outside the ring, but Rich going for the pin. One, two. Oh, and a kick out by Peyton K. Mary Rich almost became the first ever NXG women's champion. And Rich going for a power slam. What athleticism by the former Oregon track star. And now Mary, oh wow! Oh my goodness, Sissy just flew in the air. I did not know mixed martial artists could fly in the air like that. That was crazy. She just took to the sky. Peyton K going for the pin. One. And we can't see it on screen because it's focusing on Sissy's hurting Minyard for some reason. But she is pulling the arm back of Minyard. But Peyton K only got a one count there. That was absolutely insane, Jim. That, yeah, I did not expect it. It was about like a uh, Rocco, or not Rocco, Nico Dijakovic flying over the top rope in the last episode, and that was insane. Mary Rich going to go for the cover here. One, two, and Mary Rich becomes the first ever NXG Women's Champion. She has just made history here in Next Generation Wrestling. Here is your winner and the new NXG Women's Champion, Mary Rich. Steve, I, I'm just going to say it right now. This entire episode definitely beat out the first episode in, in regards of action, the matches, the stakes. Mary Rich is now the first ever NXG Women's Champion. And it's crazy, we got, a, we got a champion in NXG and all the risks all the women took in that match was absolutely insane. But just to recap what happened on the show, we had John Knight defeat Jay Sparks and he'll move on to face Eric Kidd in the next episode of NXG Impact and we saw Assad beat Zong Shen, and now you just saw Mary Rich defeat three other women to become the first ever NXG Women's Champion. But Steve, what are your thoughts about this entire episode today? Well, Jim, you know, I loved every single match on this card tonight. I did not expect the amount of action, explosiveness, that went on in this episode today. I hope it continues to be like this in future episodes of NXG Impact. I hope it gets turned up to 11 at NXG Breakdown come June 10th. But that's going to be absolutely insane to see that event take place. But we got to look forward to the next episode, the final episode before we get to NXG Breakdown. So in the next episode, we are going to be seeing Eric Kidd go one-on-one -on -one against John Knight. And the winner of that match will move on to the main event of NXG Breakdown for the World Championship. And we will also see Mandon take on Assad. And the winner of that match will face the winner of Kidd versus Knight at Breakdown for the World Title. But in the main event, we're also going to find out who is going to be going to face the Croatian Crusade in the tag team title match in the finals of the tag team tournament. Will it be the team of Jacoby Carlisle 
and Kane Collier, or will it be the revolution? Those two men, those four men, the two teams will square off against each other on the next episode of NXG Impact. And one of those men will face the Croatian Crusade, and we'll find out at Breakdown who will become the first ever tag team champions. That sounds like another great, amazing show of action, Steve. And I cannot wait to see what goes down in the next episode of NXG Impact. Well, that's going to do it for us here on NXG Impact. If you're watching this out there in YouTube land, leave a like on this video. It is very much appreciative. Comment what types of matches, who should be in NXG Wrestling next, and especially subscribe to the Next Generation Wrestling channel. My name is Jim Mann. And I'm Steve Williamson. And we'll see you guys in the next NXG Impact episode. Bye-bye.